Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to go over directives. There are two basic types of directives, the structural and the attribute. The structure is what we will go over today, and basically it is a way of adding and removing DOM elements. The attribute, we'll go over that more in the future, and we'll, it's basically a way of changing the behavior. So it's by changing attributes of the elements, but also we could change other components and, and directives as well, okay? So let's talk about the structural um, attributes. Specifically, let's talk about ngif. Notice oh, the asterisk, asterisk right there, and lowercase, camel case, okay? Um, the directives, just in case, this is messed up before, it's directives const core directives. So this basically imports the pre-existing directives in Angular, and this is the built-in stuff. We can make this more in the future, more um, directives also, but that is going to be more in the future. Okay, so we have ngif. Do you remember I said in the previous videos about there is a bool inside of here? So if something is true, then something is going to happen built into the element itself. So let's just say this one, ngif, if you think about it, it's going to add or remove a DOM element. So if it's true, it's going to add the element. If it's false, it's going to remove it. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward, but it's really helpful in a couple of ways. So let's just take a look at this example, ngif equals exist and exist equals true. And then there is a hello world right here itself. Actually, I'm going to comment this out real quickly, um, and I'm, I'll show that for in the future, just for a second. So let's do that. So if this, if true, ng if, if it's true, so it's a bool right inside of here, show the element. If it's false, don't show the element. Okay, let's see what happens. You kind of cheated because you could see that it showed it. There we go. So it does show the element. Now, what if this was false? It won't show it at all. Okay. Now, what if this is nothing? So it's null, right? What will it do? I hope you already know what it's going to do. I hope I know. Okay. So um, in Dart, true is true. Everything else is false. So exist, this is null, but it reads it here. If it's not true, it's automatically false. So it does not render hello world. Okay. Now within this, we can also put a statement here. So again, this was true right here, but we can also put statements here as well. So we can use, say, um, if exist equals null. So if exist equals null, this is the bool right here, remember, then this should render. Does it work? Excellent. Okay. What if it doesn't equal null? If it doesn't equal null, then it will show up. Hello world. Well, it equals null, so it shouldn't actually show up. So here I could put whatever I want. I could put true, but again, it's not looking if this is true or not. It's just looking if it's null or not. So it depends upon what you want to actually do. It'll be hello world. If you put false here, it should still be the same, right? Because it's not null. So it'll be true. So it'll, it'll, it'll render it even though this is false, but this statement is true. Okay. So a couple of things to keep in mind. Very simple bool. Do you want to display the element or not? Actually, I take that back. It's not displaying the element. It's adding an element. So you, do we want to add this onto the web page or do we not want to? And that's the purpose of ngif and that's it. But I put this down below style equal display because this is, remember, this is an attribute, right? So um, actually it, it's not a, a true attribute. It's a DOM property, right? So div style dot display equals show. And so what I'm going to say is show equals none, so it doesn't show anything, right? But what if I said show equals block? So it would be style.display equals block, so that actually should show, right? So I'm going to make exist null, 
So that's going to be false because it is null. And I'm going to put show style.display equals block. So what should happen is we will say goodbye world, not hello world. And there we go. All right. So what's the difference? So the difference in displaying something, so it's in the DOM, it's just hidden versus we will not add it to begin with itself. It's just memory. So if you have one element, who cares, right? What if you have a thousand different elements? You know, some of these web applications have tons of stuff going on. It takes up a lot of memory. So if you don't mind, and it's just a little bit of memory, it's a small um, web application, style.display, it would be perfectly fine. But if it's a huge, massive application, you might have to actually remove the elements altogether just to get them out of the memory itself. Okay, so that's just the difference. I wanted to throw that in there. More than one way for small web applications to, um, to do the displaying the application, the um, uh, elements onto the uh, um, web page. Now we can do this with, I did this with div. You can do it with any type of element out there itself, even custom elements. When we start making them, do you want them to exist on the page? Do you want them to be on the page, show on the page, add it onto the, as an element or not? All right. So let's end this video here. Then we'll go on in the future to um, see other built in structural DOM structural directives. Okay. Thanks.